Hello friends, welcome to my channel Data Making. In my channel, you can watch technology videos uh, uh, on uh, Hadoop and Spark. Please subscribe to my channel to get more technology videos. Okay, I have started a new video series, okay, uh, which is actually a building a uh, stream processing application, which is actually a, uh, a stream uh, meetup.com RSV stream data. Okay, we are going to uh, process using a, a Spark structure streaming. And also we are going to make use of NoSQL called MongoDB and a database called MySQL. And we are going to do build the uh, real-time dash, real dashboard using a, a Python dash a package. Okay, so uh, uh, so last video we discussed about architecture. If you have not watched my video, please watch my previous video. So in this video, I'm going to discuss about how to set up the environment for my project, which is a Apache Spark project. Okay, so uh, first thing is you need to uh, install a Apache Hadoop because I'm going to make use of uh, 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 HDFS for uh, 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 for uh, storing some data in HDFS. Okay, uh, so you're going to uh, you can install install a Apache Hadoop. Okay, so for uh, installing Apache Hadoop, I've already done the video. I will add the uh, those video description. Uh, 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 video details in my uh, description of this video. Please uh, follow that video and install the Apache Hadoop. So next thing is we may use uh, uh, in the current uh, implementation I have not used the Apache Hive but in the uh, uh, upgradation of uh, the current project I am going to I may use uh, or I am going to use the Apache Hive which is a, a data warehousing uh, tool which is available in the Apache Hadoop ecosystem. Okay, so once you install the Apache Hive, we can actually set up the uh, meta store. You, uh, you can configure the meta store uh, using MySQL. Okay, I have done a detailed video on that. Please uh, uh, follow that video. I will add those video details in my description section of my this video. The third thing is you want to set up the Apache Kafka because we want to uh, get the uh, uh, data from, uh, we are going to write a Kafka con uh, producer which will actually take the data from the uh, meetup.com uh, 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 the RSV stream, RSVP stream and publish it to the uh, Kafka topic. So we are going to set up the Kafka topic. So uh, please watch my other video where I set up the uh, Apache Kafka. I will add those details also in my uh, description of my uh, this video. And the fourth thing is setting up the Apache Spark. Okay. So and uh, fifth is uh, uh, basically uh, we are going to set up the MongoDB, okay? Because the raw data, we are going to store it into MongoDB NoSQL database, okay? I will walk through you uh, how to set up the MongoDB database in this video. And also, uh, you can, uh, I'm using a, uh, for writing a Scala project, I am, uh, it's a, a SBD based Scala project I'm going to write for uh, uh, building a, or creating a Apache uh, uh, structure streaming using Scala. So I, I'm using an IntelliJ IDE. For setting up the IntelliJ ID, I prepared another video. Uh, please watch that video and uh, uh, please set up in your environment. I will add this video description also, uh, details also in my description of this video. Okay, now let us start the MongoDB installation. I am going to do this MongoDB installation on my Windows machine because the entire project I am going to uh, set up on my uh, Windows machine. Okay, so let us jump into the uh, uh, setting up the MongoDB. So what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, let me minimize my recording window. Okay, so uh, so first you can go to the google.com, okay, and uh, type uh, MongoDB download. Okay, so the first, uh, uh, the, uh, the first link, uh, the second link you can check, actually, it says uh, MongoDB download center. Okay, click on this uh, MongoDB download center. Uh, then uh, this page will be opened. Okay, so uh, so they provide a cloud uh, version of uh, uh, MongoDB, uh, but I want to we want to install it on our local machine. So I am going to install uh, uh, on my local machine. So I will just click on the second tab, which is a server. Okay, so it says uh, uh, so MongoDB they they provide in uh, uh, two different flavor. One is the MongoDB community server, uh, which is a free. Okay, it's a kind of uh, a developer uh, uh, version and uh, the second one is the enterprise version uh, for production grade, uh, uh, building a production grade MongoDB servers, uh, clusters, you can actually get the enterprise server. So because this is our uh, own development uh, uh, learning project, so we are going to uh, use the community version. So you can choose the different version uh, you want to uh, choose. 
click on this and you can choose a different version so i'm going to take the latest version current version and uh, the operating system you can choose whether it is uh, windows or uh, linux and whatever and the msi what type of package you want it so once you click on download so it will download the uh, msi installer microsoft installer so it is around uh, 252 mb okay so based on your uh, uh, internet uh, uh, bandwidth so it will download uh, it took couple of seconds for me uh, once it is downloaded okay you can click on the show in folder uh, it, so it will navigate to your download folder of your uh, windows system so once you open this you can click on double click on this installer so it will open welcome to the mongodb 4.2.1 uh, uh, 2008 r2 plus uh, SSL 64 bit uh, uh, setup wizard. So basically, it is a uh, uh, MongoDB version 4.2.1, so 64 bit uh, version operating system uh, compatible uh, version of MongoDB. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, continue, uh, click on next to continue. Then uh, it will show you the end user license agreement. You can just read the agreements and click on I accept the terms in license agreement. And then you press the next um, button so it has available in uh, two different uh, uh, option one is the complete uh, installation or uh, customized installation. i'll click on the complete uh, installation so it is going to uh, ask you whether you want to run the mongodb as a service or uh, direct application uh, so it will come in uh, start menu so i'm going to run it as a service so it less i'm uh, this by default whatever comes i'm just going to click it i'm not going to change anything uh, for if you are using your uh, uh, local, uh, if you want to give the different user name for uh, MongoDB installation, you can always go and uh, uh, change it, run as a local or domain user, you can change it, give it. So like this, you can just go and change it. So I'm going to give it the default option. So I just given uh, run as MongoDB, uh, <coughs> install MongoDB as service and run a uh, service as network service user. So click on next and also you can change the, the uh, installation uh, location i will continue with the same uh, location uh, then uh, so it is going to install the uh, mongodb compass which is actually a graphical user interface for your mongodb so you can go and create your uh, mongodb databases and collections and you can collect collection so in mongodb uh, database is similar like uh, rdbms database the terminology i'm saying so the mongodb collection is nothing but uh, uh, similar to uh, table in uh, rdbms uh, uh, world okay so uh, so basically it is going to have a, a, a json file which is a, which is actually binary a json file and it is it's basically document oriented no sql database so i just uh, i will recommend to you install the mongodb compass uh, so leave it so if you don't want you can uncheck it or leave it uh, to check it so when you click on next it will going to ask you it's going to show this this one and it will ask you whether you want uh, so basically it says uh, whether you want to go back to previous and do some change or install just click on install once you click on install then it will pop, pop up you saying that do you want to allow this app to make changes in your device i will say yes okay so click on yes and uh, so it will say uh, th this window will come the setup must uh, update files or services that can be updated while system is uh, that cannot be updated while uh, system is running so if you choose to continue, uh, reboot will be required to complete the setup. So basically what it's saying is, once this installation is completed, it has to be uh, restarted uh, to update a uh, uh, few files or services to complete the installation. I'll say OK. OK, so then continue. So it will just copying uh, other uh, required files and it will just do for a couple of uh, uh, minutes. Uh, then it's, it started installing a, a MongoDB Compass. Then once it is completed the installation, it will the finish window will come. So once click on the finish, then it will say you must restart your system for uh, configuration changes to made to the MongoDB the version uh, to take effect. Uh, if yes, uh, to turn on. If no, if you plan to uh, manually restart the later. Okay. So I'll just say yes uh, because I want to uh, the MongoDB installation uh, wizard to complete the uh, or updating the files which is required. Okay, so then uh, once it is restarted, you can just go to the start menu and you can see this MongoDB Compass Community Sensor. Once you click on this MongoDB Compass Community, it will open. You can give the user agreement, you can read this uh, license agreement and say agree. 
okay so once you agree it will open uh, kind of uh, getting started welcome page for uh, mongodb uh, compass community then click on next year for uh, click, click on click on next it will suggest you terms tips and it will explain you some things and then click on ok next next then uh, you just say start mongodb uh, finally once you say get getting get started uh, this link or button it will say uh, start using the um, uh, compass okay then uh, it will show you so basically you need to connect to the any mongodb instance to use this uh, uh, mongodb compass uh, community edition so i am going to already uh, so i installed the uh, the local in my local machine right the mongodb installation is completed already so you just give the file uh, by default you can give the a local host and the port number is uh, 27017 and for now uh, uh, i don't create i didn't create any user so basically i just authentication is none and connect so it will connect okay so it will connect and it will by default it will show you the three database which is uh, admin config and uh, local so if you want actually uh, use some mongodb command line okay so there is another utility which is available so uh, click on uh, uh, your uh, windows uh, key and uh, then r for uh, opening the run uh, run window then type cmd command line uh, command line windows command line so once you come to the dask prompt uh, just navigate to the installation uh, location mongodb installation location location which is a c colon program file slash mongodb slash server slash version uh, whatever the version you installed it so it, mine is uh, 4.2 slash go to the bin folder so you see the two uh, files which is a uh, mongo mongo.exe and mongod.exe uh, uh, mongo.d is actually command line utility to interact with the mongodb uh, the server okay mongodb mongod is the actual process uh, uh, which actually uh, 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 which actually a yeah, mongodb service it's a mongodb you can say server okay so that only it is uh, doing all this uh, uh, <coughs> mongodb uh, database uh, other stuff maintaining other things okay so you can think as a server okay mongodb is a server uh, mongo mongo is a client for you okay so once you uh, come to this page uh, come to this location take the copy this location and put it in your uh, so basically the command line and say yes okay so it will come to this type a mongo.exe okay which will open a, uh, so basically uh, the command line interface okay so uh, it will open a command line interface uh, meanwhile i just created a, a database using a, a mongodb community uh, the compass community so in the compass community once you open right you it was showing three database uh, this admin and config and local so there will be plus symbol here okay click on this uh, to create a database okay so you can create a data give, give a database name and the collection name so i given test underscore db test underscore collection so so you see there is a previously three database there now database name dot test underscore db so in the test underscore db i created a test collection also so open the collect click on this collection name uh, then it will open this so you can actually create a document so basically collection is the like table document is a one row in your table so click on insert document so then uh, by default uh, there will be a uh, key column which is called underscore id in mongodb so you can actually uh, create a document so document is actually a json file right you have to give a key and value okay so basically it's kind of a key value pair you need to provide like it's a json structure right uh, you will have a field name and value for the field so i just give the uh, field name as uh, key and the value for that uh, uh, key is basically one okay i'm going to create a one more uh, uh, field one field is a key another field if you want to create so there will be a, a plus symbol if you mouse over it and click on it so it will say add a field uh, after the key basically the previous uh, key which i created previous field i created so then i click on add so it will add so i just given the uh, this field name as value and the value for that field is Chennai. Then click on insert to add the document to the uh, the MongoDB collection, the test collection, test underscore collection. So by default, it will show you in the uh, uh, list mode where it is a JSON format. Right? 
you can also view it in the table format you click on this table icon okay so so you can see this so this is how uh, basically you can uh, create a, 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 a database and a collection and you can insert document in the using a, a mongodb compass uh, uh, community edition okay so uh, so if you want to do it on command line interface so once once we uh, run the mongo uh, mongo.exe it has opened this uh, uh, terminal okay so where it says uh, uh, mongodb shell version 4.2.1 so it is says uh, connecting to the uh, mongo uh, the local instance which is for uh, local ip is basically not uh, the the local host equivalent uh, 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 ip is 127.0.0.1 right so it is connected to the local instance okay so uh, it has come here this the greater than symbol it says that it is the uh, command prompt it is connected to the mongodb the local instance so then you can create a user to create a user you just say db dot create user uh, followed by you can give the user colon name of your user pw colon e password for your user and also you can actually set the roles basically you can set user admin uh, any database which is uh, uh, so setting this role this for admin for uh, uh, database admin what which database you want to set this role this user and a role for uh, 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 particular uh, database right so i'm just giving yes a admin database this admin user will have uh, uh, the particular ro roles associated uh, here will be for this particular database so and uh, you can actually create a database if you want to create a database in mongodb you just say use colon uh, sorry space a uh, mongodb uh, the database name i just given meetup underscore rsvp underscore db so it will connect to the mongodb database so and also you can create a collection um, using uh, this command db dot create collection open bracket in double quotation you use the collection name which is a meetup iphone rsvp uh, iphone message underscore detail underscore tbl in double quotation close it and a semicolon so basically uh, this rsvp uh, uh, message is a raw data which is actually which we get it from the uh, kafka uh, uh, topic using a spark success streaming and we'll actually do the uh, uh, parsing so the, the json is uh, uh, basically a uh, nested json right i showed in the previous example so let me show you here also uh, so basically this is the uh, the nested json structure for your rsv message which is coming from meetup.com so we want to actually store this data into mongodb so i want to store it with the flattened structure it is a nested structure so i will do that in uh, uh, my uh, spark session streaming uh, so this is the collection which i am creating that's i want to tell you okay so with this actually we completed uh, uh, setting up the uh, mongodb instance in our local mission so in the next video we will see uh, how to build the kafka producer and uh, uh, receive the message from the uh, meetup uh, uh, stream data okay from the meetup stream meetup.com uh, stream api and we will actually publish it to the kafka topic okay um, that's what i want to convey in this video uh, thank you for watching me uh, this video and uh, uh, see you in the next video uh, you can watch other uh, uh, technology videos in my channel i have different playlist for that you can go and watch it uh, thank you so much friends see you in the next video